So I'm going to be doing a comparison with the yellow iPhone 14 versus the Galaxy S23. Now I've had this yellow iPhone for a couple of weeks. I've had the S23 for a little bit longer than that. And I got to tell you guys, the S23 was a bit of a disappointment for me for the fact that it's really not much different than the Galaxy S22. You know, there's some minor differences, but not a whole lot. You know, on the flip side, you know, if you're looking at the 14 between, you know, last year's 13 series, there are a couple upgrades worth pointing out, but the phones do also look the same. So you got to ask yourself, what's going on with Apple? I mean, are they really not innovating right now? I mean, we're waiting for a foldable to come out, and I'm really hoping that happens this year because, you know, Samsung's, you know, had the Z Flip and Z Fold series now for years. And once again, Apple is just falling behind, man. They got to release a foldable. Now, I will say, uh, just as far as design and especially the color yellow, it looks awesome. You know, I'm surprised how much I've really liked this iPhone. Personally, when I get a new iPhone, I usually get red or blue. But going forward, I've already pointed out uh, in a previous video that I really like yellow. So it's definitely going to be on my radar next time I get a new iPhone, especially when they release the 15 series. Now, on the flip side, the Galaxy S23, I mean, you really can't go wrong. Uh, Samsung has very nice designs as well. Uh, but you know, really not a whole lot different here. Like I said, the cameras on the back of the S23 are not connected like they were on the S22. It's just kind of like a minor detail. But, you know, if you turn these phones around, uh, interestingly enough, the base S23 and, you know, the base iPhone 14, they've got the same size displays. It's 6.1 inches. But as far as screens go, you know, I got to give it to the S23. It's just a sharper display for sure. So when it comes to watching video, playing games, that kind of stuff, you know, that's where it's at. Another reason I would say that you might want to consider going with the Samsung phone, especially the S23 over an iPhone, is that, you know, it's got a great camera on it. Samsung's just known for having really good cameras on their phones. It's been that way for years. And, you know, the S23 it's a beast for phone photography. It also records in 8K at 30 frames per second. So it's got a notch on the, you know, 14 series in that category. Uh, lastly, you know, another thing that a lot of, I feel people don't point out, you know, the battery is going to be bigger as well on the S23. So it's going to have, you know, a pretty uh, significant battery life in it in comparison to the 14. But if I had to choose between one, it's always easier if you're using an iPhone right now to just stick with iOS, honestly. But, you know, it just depends. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I normally do it, guys. I'm going to throw up some uh, video and gaming on both phones because that's what we do here. Of course, if you want to get on our tech newsletter where we send out one email a week, we'll have some great resources below in the description. For now, let's run it.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.